Einen schönen guten Tag allerseits and welcome to this edition of the news which I will poignantly call the Bournemouth Vigil News although there will be a few other things I shall be mentioning and I wanted to announce and all that. Um, anywho, I hope you're all doing well. I hope everybody's been having a nice weekend hitherto. Um, we have a bank holiday weekend here in England so um, coupled with some beautiful weather though interrupted at times um, yeah it's been a good one nice to get out into uh, I'm feeling much better today and if you're wondering why I'm saying that it's because yesterday I did put out a quick five or six minute video or however long it was I can't remember now um, <clears throat> because I was walking to my new place um, to sort a couple of things out and uh, but I'd woken up that morning with an excruciating headache, something that I don't get at all. I can count on one hand how often that happens. Um, and on walking to my place, of course, I noticed by looking upwards that uh, there was plenty of uh, action in the sky um, and a little bit more sinister than pollution, I would say. So that might be worth checking out if you fancy it. Um, in fact, I may as well mention that now. I was going to mention it later, but that is one of the latest videos that I put out. It was a few minutes of that, just walking down the street, looking up at the sky. And that follows up. That follows on, I should say, from a few posts now that have been uh, put out there by friends of mine and just concerned, seriously concerned members of the public. Um, because, you know, this is a community issue that affects us all. It's not a question of whether you believe we landed on the moon or not who gives a damn that really is not what we're talking about here we're talking about stuff that affects us daily right and it's becoming in my personal opinion more and more noticeable now um, not only more and more noticeable but it's been made more noticeable I would suggest um, that's how I see it but then what do I know not a lot that's the conclusion I've come to which is why I've uh, come also to some realisations. But anyway, um, so yeah, that was what I put out. And then, of course, for, that was yesterday. But the day before that, we did have a vigil. I'll crack on straight with that now, actually. And the vigil in Bournemouth that did take place on the 27th Saturday was, in my view, a tremendous success. Uh, I did manage to post upload some video footage of it on my YouTube channel um, and also on Facebook and also on Instagram. So I did a little intro video for a few minutes and then I did a 10, 12 or whatever minute video concisely because I couldn't live stream. I tried and I tried. One or two people also couldn't. I know one or two people tried and could. It was all a bit bizarre. So I decided to then not live stream and just do it a little bit more concisely. Um, and one or two things were captured on there, interestingly enough. Um, on the intro part, uh, you'll, street, you'll see straight off the bat a lady who starts interacting with uh, some friends. Um, in this case, it was Mike Cook. Um, and it was arguments you were hearing three years ago. We had somebody who died of, and then, you know, take your pick, whatever. And it just was very, very reminiscent of that because it didn't seem to jive at all with the whole purpose of it. But that was an isolated incident. There was one other incident that I remember seeing uh, that we kept myself, Carl, Deborah and one or two others uh, kept a bit of an eye on. Uh, and that sort of resolved itself. But apart from that, it was a lovely day and it... Um, it was good for many, many, many reasons. First of all, to see some faces again and reconnect. Who doesn't like to do that as long as it's not a school reunion? Um, and secondly, of course, you know, well, the outdoors for a kickoff, because, I mean, we've been in situations before now, not just we in terms of getting together to do initiatives, but we as a population or society, you know, wasn't so long ago, let's not forget, we were very, very discouraged from spending any time outdoors, never mind with other people. And some of us even had to bear some really severe consequences of that. Um, you know, mentally, 
most definitely, some of us physically, but a lot of us most definitely mentally, you know, stories and cases that went unreported, but most definitely did happen. But anyway, I'm going well off on a tangent there. Getting back to the vigil, um, it was supposed to be community based, and that is why we're going to do it again. The feedback I've got, not and not just I've got, but others as well, has been one of um, a resounding um, positivity, and there seems to be an enthusiasm to do this again, and also one or two similar types of events, um, which you can also capture Sam mentioning on the uh, second video that I did, which was the main concise one, which is only about, like I said, 10 or whatever minutes long, um, because they're doing things in Europe as well. Um, there seems to be a lot of this stuff going on. Of course, you're not seeing it in the news. Of course, you're not. You're seeing other stuff that's totally uh, nonsensical and is just there to purely distract you and keep you in a certain mindset. Um, anyway, but... And while we're talking about that, with Sam talking to us about the other events and what we could perhaps do moving forward, um, that happened just after, and here's one of my first thanks, Deborah and I um, lit a candle for a good friend of mine, Ellie, up in Southport near Liverpool, because a very close friend of Ellie's passed away uh, very recently um and without me divulging because that's not the right thing to do but what i will say is the last three years didn't help let's just put it like that so that was a very poignant moment um and i could know i could find no better person to carry out that little um piece of remembrance uh, than deborah who I, uh, you know, hold in very high regard. Uh, I'm sure she knows by now um, because I keep having to give her my bank details. No vice versa because I'm paying her, aren't I? I keep forgetting now. See, you know, if we were all just one euro, we'd be all right, wouldn't we? But no, you know, and again, and this is another thing I say in that video is I start going into joke mode because I find it very difficult to... <sighs> you know, come to terms is maybe the wrong word to use, but certainly to get a get a real handle on the blatancy of all of this and yet the willingness for everybody to just get marshaled off the edge of that cliff. You know, that's the tragedy. That's the absolute tragedy. The people felt so compelled. How? It's beyond me. But anyway enough philosophizing but i'll just say the vigil was great and thank you heartfelt thanks to deborah for doing that because that meant a lot to ellie it meant a lot to me and it would have meant a lot to sam because everything that is in this realm remains in this realm we're in a closed system right so that was the vigil i will give out a few thanks personally and i'll do it in no particular order uh, of importance or or uh, whatever um but there are a few people that help me although i will mention mike first and foremost because mike jj is the guy who he likes to play himself down a little bit in this this is nothing to do with accolades or anything like that and it's not and none of us are trying to be humbler or more humble than the other either oh no it's not me please you know it's nothing to do with that either yeah i was involved and i was instrumental in this event but so was mike and so were a few others Without each individual, it would never have come together in the first place. It only takes a spark. Happened to be me this time, but it could be anybody next time, you know. Um, but Mike deserves great credit because without certain things that he said to me, I probably would have backed out and thought, hmm, don't know. Because I react very allergically to politics of any kind, right? So big thanks to Mike JJ for his help in uh, all those long conversations we had and continue to have and stuff, you know. Um, so you helped in many ways, mate, right? Um, in terms of organising and helping out and stuff, a big, big thanks to Nick. Um, you know, it came at an untimely moment for him because he'd already had a week away planned. 
so we had less time to as a team prepare and and get things done so thank you very much to nick he was always on hand to help where he could um and also you know for transportation purposes um key in all of it as well so thank you to you i'll also like to say thank you to annie for um providing the laminated um examples that we had stock on the boards um, that will be something that we will be doing again going forward. There are a few things I want to tweak, but until you actually do it and you can see it for yourself and see how it works and all that sort of stuff, then you start just sort of, you know, it's all about then arranging and tweaking more than actually, are we doing the right thing? Yeah, of course we are. Absolutely we are. Um, so thank you, Tani, for that. Um, thank you to Melania for also helping where she could. I know she's been very busy. You've been very busy. Well, I don't know why I'm saying she because you'll probably be watching this video, so I may as well address you, actually. Um, I know you've been busy and everything else. And, uh, you know, so it's sometimes it's tricky to squeeze it all in and certain dates in the month come at the wrong times. I can write a book about that in, in, in a couple of languages as well, if you want. Um, no, I totally get it. But thank you for your help. It, where you could and and it was greatly appreciated absolutely um i'd like to also thank cj because without cj uh i wouldn't have known about nick <laughs> and so it goes on so the importance of people can't be you know understated and um and that's just from those who are trying to get initiatives going i'm sure there are many people out there who feel similar to us and aren't too sure what to do because like we said where do you go to when you have a gripe when you have an health issue when you have a mental health thing going on and all that sort of stuff you know when you deep down know it's directly connected with the past three years but yet you're going to go to an institution or an authority be it your doctor your hospital your clinic whatever it is the very institutions that created the issue in the first place okie dokie so um that was the vigil i obviously left off a load of names there but a few people that i saw there like brian and jill that was nice to see them again and um, um caroline very nice to see you again as well carl was nice to see you there um uh, andy and andy uh paul and a couple of his friends came down so it was lovely to see you sam i've already mentioned um you know there were lots of people kaz great to see you um and that i gave you a thought actually when i was walking back thinking blimey you know she didn't have to come all this way from weymouth can't even walk properly because of you know what's happened and everything else and uh, you were making the effort so hats off if i was wearing one to you as well my dear lots of people with lots of things going on in their lives but they still made the effort there are many more, I just can't remember them all off the top of my head. So that's it, really. It's not a tactical decision on my part. It really isn't. Um, Okie dokie. I think that's about it in terms of the vigil. You know, it's funny because we just had the vigil and I will mention this, actually. I wasn't going to, but I will. A couple of things happened. Yesterday, there was a triathlon in Swansea. You may have heard of it, you may not have. But a gentleman died, passed away there. And um, the reasons for his death have been withheld. I do believe his age has only been disclosed an hour or two ago. Uh, but anyway, he passed away in triathlon. Well, yeah, that's triathlon, I hear you say. That can happen in triathlon. People can die because it's such a hardcore event. Okay. Well, another thing that happened yesterday was a 28-year-old captain of Luton Town Football Club uh, was stretched off the pitch. He'd collapsed again, and I quote, reasons undisclosed. Um, the reason why I remembered mentioning that, or at least noting it down for the potential to mention it here, is because I happened to have the TV on earlier, um, and which I do sometimes, and um, just to have a look to see what they're talking about. And they were mentioning Luton Town Football Club, 
and how they are doing a parade around the streets because it's the first time they've played in the top flight football. They got promoted yesterday. Now, for our English, Brits, European friends, they'll know all about what that means if they have any vague idea of football. But stateside, they won't have a clue. So it doesn't matter anyway. But one thing is for sure, they were out there celebrating. And there wasn't one mention of their captain in the hospital. Captain. He's the guy who actually lifts the trophy. Oh, where's the guy who normally lifts the trophy? No, not mentioned. Um, so I find that quite interesting because it comes to the back of what we were talking about on the weekend. Um, and, you know, think of it like this. If these weren't public events like the football match yesterday or the triathlon yesterday, would you even be hearing about these cases? At all? It was a rhetorical question because I know the answer. Just looking at my notes because I decided to do some today. I did mention men mental health earlier, didn't I? <clears throat> Briefly. So I'll mention it again. Um, it's another thing I caught hold of when I was um, listening to the mumbo jumbo through the goggle box. And that is that the police here in the UK are now being redirected in terms of their policy and procedures when it comes to handling people who call them for mental health reasons, for support, whatever. So it has been kind of announced today that unless it's a matter of life and death, <clears throat> and I'll just leave it at that, you can finish the end of the story, uh, the story for yourselves, the sentence. So there you go. So don't bother phoning the busies if you're feeling depressed and you have a meat cleaver in your hand. Um, that's really all about it, apart from, of course, something that I would like to mention to bring this back a little bit upbeat, and that is tomorrow already i was gonna say this coming tuesday but it is already tomorrow this is the third bank holiday weekend in what help me out It'll, you brits will know but what in five weeks or something about about three or three and four ridiculous but there is a flat earth social tomorrow at 1900 hours that will be 7 p.m uk time at the pavilion arms in bournemouth on wimborne road be there, you know the rest. I shall be, and so will Dave Weiss, but only virtually, because he shall be zoomed in, beamed in. I can't even say Zoom anymore, because everybody think it's a conf conference call. So he'll be beamed in, whatever, certainly technologically, to deal with any questions and all that sort of stuff. And he might even be presenting something I don't know. I will uh, wait and see. I look forward to it and I uh, yeah, look forward to be pleasantly surprised. So that'll be tomorrow evening, 7pm at the Pavilion Arms in Bournemouth. Um, and apart from that, I've got no other thing to necessarily announce. So um, there was another thing that happened on the weekend that uh, made me smile. Has absolutely nothing to do with the choice of top that I'm wearing today for this news item. Okie dokie. So on that note, Larry is happy. Why? Because I am. This is how we work. This is how we roll. And because he's happy, I'm happy and vice versa. And it's a continual cycle, just like the sun and the moon. So on that profound note, I bid you all farewell. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Um, I shall do another video later in the week to recap on the Flat Earth Social. Tomorrow's, that is. And look out for some photos, maybe even some snippets of footage here or there um, over the next day or two on Facebook um, and also on Instagram, certainly when it comes to my posts, because that's where I tend to put them if I'm not posting on YouTube. Right. So there we go. This time, most definitely, on that note, I'll see you all soon. We, some of you sooner, saw plenty of you yesterday or the day before, I should say. See, time is just flying, isn't it? Um, and I really thoroughly enjoyed that. 
I could really do that again and uh, no problem at all. Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. While we can. All right, until then, ta-ta for now.